Hello everyone. I hope you did receive your 1200 with the first batch from the IRS. If not, you should be receiving your 1200. But if you think the government is dropping money from a helicopter, wait until you see what the US representative is preparing for you. We have two US representative, Ro Kahana and Tim Ryan. They are drafting. So notice the word draft. This is not a law yet. There is a way to go. Something called the emergency money for the People's Act. There is no acronym for it as of yet, but I'm sure eventually you will have an acronym for it. So bear in mind, this is a draft. It'll have to pass the House of Representatives, the US Senator, and if all goes well, if it arrives to the President, it will be signed. The CARES Act, the one that you received the 1200 for, it took around 20 days to go through this process. I don't know how, how long this one will go, if, if it's gonna pass first the House of Representatives. So it's very important to just bear in mind what I'm telling you now, it's still in process. It may or may not make it to the next step. Now, if you remember in the prior session when I talked about the stimulus check, I told you that college students were excluded from this process because college students are dependent of their parents. So college students, they are not considered as independent. Also another group of people that I failed to mention is adults and here this says adult with disabilities that's what the two senators were saying they don't have to have any disabilities oftentimes adults are claimed by their kids so if you're old parents they cannot they cannot afford to live by themselves and you're paying more of their support they become your dependent once they become your dependent the CARES Act exclude them. So what, th what these two U.S. representatives are saying, let's introduce a law that's going to introduce a rule that's going to give college students and adults with disability, again, doesn't have to be a disability, some income so they, could, they can survive this coronavirus. So this is what this new law is intended to do. So let's take a look at this new interesting and really money dropping from a helicopter law. The first thing is this. Every American adult age 16 or older, notice it doesn't care whether you are a dependent, not a dependent, college students, whatever you are, making, as long as you are making less than 130,000, the, the CARES Act, it was 75,000. So notice they increased the limit. You would receive at least $2,000 per month. Notice it's not a one-time thing. It's a monthly thing. It's a monthly thing. So that's totally different. A minimum of six months up to 12 months. So you would receive, once you qualify, if this law goes through, you would receive $2,000 per month for the first six months, then it's renew, renewable for another six months. Now, if you are married, filing jointly, married couple, well, they increased the limit as well to 260. It was, I believe, 150,000 up to 198 then you would lose everything on after 198 now as long as you are making less than 260 you would receive at least four thousand dollar per month plus if you have a child you would receive an additional 500 per child for up to three children so if you really think about it a family of five like the griffins they would receive five thousand five hundred per month and that's the maximum amount so even if you know the dog here is considered a child. They will not be able to get money. Only three, the max of three. So if you have more children, it's not going to give you an advantage. Okay. Those who have no earning were unemployed or are currently unemployed would be also eligible. So you don't have to be making money or working to be eligible. And those who are not eligible in 2018 or 2019, so let's assume you are single and you were making more than one you were making more than 130 in 2018 or 2019, but this year you are not making that much money. What you need to do, you will need to send, the proof will be two consecutive months of paychecks to show them that your income is lower than 130 because your 2018 and 2019 tax return are disqualifying you. So basically they're trying to make it as easy as possible for you to get this money. And by the way, this money is not taxable and it's not considered income. So when you get this money, if you really think about it, if we're talking about $2,000, if let's assume you do get the $2,000, remember to net $2,000, you have to be making more than $2,000. So that's assuming, um, so let's assume just kind of just to show you how large is this payment. It's not, it's really more than $2,000. 
if you net $2,000, this is the net that you would receive. Simply put, to make $2,000, you have to be making gross. Let's assume they take 30% between Social Security, Medicare, federal, and state tax. Uh, they will take 30% of your money. If you take 2,000 divided by 0.7, which is left from your check, it means you are earning $2,875. Then you pay your taxes, which is 30%. What's left is 2,000. So that 2,000 is totally net and it's not even taxable. You don't have to worry about paying taxes on this money. And also it's not considered income. So if you're receiving money from the government, social welfare, or any type of a help, that money is not factored into your into into your eligibility. And what they're trying to do, because now a lot of people don't have bank account, for example, younger individual, they're planning to pay through PayPal, prepaid cards, Venmo, Zill, any other way they can get you this money. And there's gonna they're gonna be creating a hotline. So if you have any questions, you can call. Again, this is work in progress. Don't start telling me when when am I gonna receive this two thousand or four thousand dollar. Well, it's work in process. So if you're really interested in this money, contact your representative in your area, your U.S. representative, and basically pressure them. Now, having said so, I just want to let you let you just give you an idea what this is gonna do. Let's assume 200 million will qualify, 200 million people will qualify. And assuming on average they get $2,000, that's going to be 400 billion per month. That's 400 with a B per month. And if this goes on for 10 months, that's 4 trillion in additional debt because the government don't have money. And that's why personally I am against this because the government don't have the money. And if they borrow the money, we're going to have to pay for it one way or another down the road with additional taxes. But again, that's that's my opinion but whatever whatever you think we need the money now we'll pay for it later that's a different story i mean i don't like that in general but who knows what these days we need the money somehow and frankly if this 400 billion and in, in my opinion if you ask me if 400 billion or for the 43 for 3 trillion should go to wall street or should go to main street obviously i'll prefer that this money goes to main street rather to rather than to Wall Street. But that's also a personal preference. And by the way, here are the representative that co-sponsored the bill. I'm not sure if any of them is in your area, but if, you, if you'd like to support this bill, contact your representative. If you wanna get that helicopter money that the government is literally throwing money to make sure we survive this COVID or whatever reason they're doing it for, okay? It seems both the Democrat and the Republican, they're just like fighting over who could give us more money. We'll take it. Good luck. Stay safe. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're an accounting student. Stay safe.